Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to do a tutorial on this eyeshadow look. Um, this is a look that I've worn in quite a few videos lately and you guys loved it. And a lot of people ask me like, what happened to your hooded lids? They're gone. It's all tricks of eyeshadow. I'm not kidding you. I haven't had any, you know, surgery. You'll see in the before. They're still sagging and hooding and laying on my eyelashes. So in the tutorial, I'll offer lots and lots of tips and tricks on how to disguise your hoods. For this look, I basically use two separate eyeshadow palettes. I use the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics for most of it because this is a mainly matte palette with one slightly satiny shade at the end. It lacks that pop of a real shimmer color. So when I want to add a little shimmer to it to just step it up a notch, I always reach for my tiny Sonia Kashuk Sweet Nothings number 16 palette. So it just has six little very pale shades, but three of them have a nice amount of shimmer. There's this gray one, there's the pink one, and then there's the one that I used in today's video, this kind of brownie taupey one. So those are terrific little colors. They're great for, you know, adding just a little bit of punch to an everyday eyeshadow tutorial to just take it up to the next level. So let's go right into the tutorial and I'll show you how I got this look. The primer I'm using today is Maybelline Master Prime in the Matte. Now this is a nice primer that is like a salmon color, so it really helps to hide any discoloration that you may have on your eyelids. So basically I pop that on with a little doe foot applicator and I pat it in using my finger and spread it from the inner corner to the outer corner all the way from lashes up to my eyebrows. For step two, I'm using the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics palette and my Beauty Junkies Pro All Over Shader brush and the color Stark from the palette. I'm applying this to the entire lid using top to bottom strokes. This is the best way to apply eyeshadow to lids that are crepey so that you don't get the skipping over the tops as the skin moves around now that it's not as firm as it used to be. I'm also just taking a little bit on the tip of the brush and applying it underneath my lower lashes and drawing it up and out at the outer corner towards my eyebrow. For the next step, I'm using the color Frisk and my Beauty Junkies crease brush. I'm going to put the palette down and reach over with my other hand to lift my eyebrow so my eyelid is smooth so that I can sweep the color Frisk into the crease following the natural curve of my eye. I'm going to let go of my eyebrow with my fingers and let my eye fall into its natural place. Then I'm going to use the all over shader brush from step one and using the same color Frisk. I'm going to mark the spot below my eyebrow that needs more shading to make the hood recede. And I'm going to press and pack this mid-tone into place. For the next step, I'm going to use my MAC 221 brush and the color Cover. And I'm going to darken the outer corner of my eyelid by sweeping that shade in a diagonal line from the outer crease to mid-eyelid. Then I'm going to switch to my Beauty Junkies Pro Pencil Brush and the shade Undone. I'm going to go over the same diagonal line at the outer corner with this color to darken up the outer corner of my eyelid. Then from my Beauty Junkies Pro Brush Set, I'm going to use the Pro Blending Brush and I'm just going to blend everything together using small circular motions until there are no hard lines of differentiation between any of the shades. I'm going to use my Japanesque 213 brush and the color Skimp from the Urban Decay palette and I'm going to place a very thin line of that right below my eyebrow to serve as my brow highlight and I'm also going to put some of that at the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to use that same Japanesque 213 brush and the shade at the bottom right corner of the Sonia Kashuk palette and I'm going to pack that onto the center part of my eyelid, drawing it down into the inner corner. And I'm just going to make sure that I bring that up into the crease following the natural line of the eyeball. I'm going to use Buxom Hold the Line Eyeliner Pencil in I'll Be Waiting for the upper and lower lash line. For the lowers, I'm going to run it in my waterline from inner quarter to outer corner where it will add a nice bit of sparkle and shimmer and brightness. Then on the upper lid, I'm going to use this to make a template for my liquid liner. So I'm going to start at the inner corner, kind of on the inside of 
my waterline. Then I'm going to switch to above the lashes and I'm just going to draw a nice thin line right at the base of the lashes and give it a tiny wing at the outside. And this is going to serve as our template for the liquid liner. Then I'm going to use the NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker in Carbon Black and I'm just going to trace over the eyeliner at the upper lash line that I made with the Buxom pencil. I'm going to turn it towards my eyebrow and draw a little wing at the outer corner. I'm going to prime my lashes with Lancome Seal Booster. This is a white lash primer that goes on underneath your mascara. I ran out of my favorite Lancome mascara which is Hypnos Drama and when I went to Sephora to repurchase it I decided to try the Dior Dior Addict It Lash instead. So I'm giving that a try today and we'll see how it goes. Running that over my upper lashes. If you want to do your lower lashes go ahead. I don't tend to do my lower lashes. Of course the last step in any eyeshadow tutorial is to fill in the eyebrows. In this case I am using the It Cosmetics Your Brows But Better Brow Power Brow Pencil. So I'm just filling in my brows and then combing them into place. All right, so that's it for the tutorial. Not too hard, right? All it takes is the right tools and the right shades of eyeshadow and knowing where to place them. So I hope that you'll try this at home. Please experiment. Don't get discouraged. It does take a little practice, but if I can do it, believe me, you can do it. So good luck with those hooded eyes, everyone. I hope that you make your sagging crepey hoods look so much younger, so much better, help your eyes look so much more awake. Uh, and more youthful. All right, so that was the point of the tutorial and I hope it works for you. So thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate your time and I will see you in the next video. So take care everybody. Bye-bye.